Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. And those who will be found with child, so to speak, when the true Christ returns at the seventh trumpet will have been impregnated with Satan's deception in their foreheads at the sixth trumpet, becoming the whore of Babylon at that time and ceasing to be citizens of the heavenly Jerusalem. But then many will repent because of what the Holy Spirit will say through those who get delivered up during that time. And upon repentance, they'll be able to go into the eternity as the Lamb's wife after the thousand years are finished when they become citizens of the new Jerusalem written of in Revelation chapter 21. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. All having been Israel, so to speak, in the first world, age, as you can see in Revelation chapter 12, the woman having a crown of 12 stars with Israel in this world age, starting out as the bloodline Christ would be brought forth from through Mary according to the flesh. Christ being the woman's seed who is the man-child written of in Revelation chapter 12 verse 5, whose blood shed on the cross makes it possible for whosoever will to become Israel once again as all were in the first world age, meaning who Whosoever will believe upon the only begotten Son of God shall not perish after the thousand years are finished in the lake of fire, but shall have everlasting life on up into the third world age, having taken part in either the first resurrection at the seventh trumpet when the thousand years begin, or the second resurrection after the thousand years are finished, becoming the Lamb's wife at that time. Abraham's seed, singular, being the Lord Jesus Christ, and those who are in Christ are Abraham. Abraham's seed, plural, and heirs according to the promise, with the promised land being ultimately the third world age, when the new Jerusalem comes into being. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood any more. And remember the whore of Babylon will say in her heart, During 666, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow, having been deceived into believing Satan as Jesus returned, and losing her virginity, spiritually speaking, in the great apostles. To see. But again, many will repent because of what the Holy Spirit will say through those who get delivered up during that time, and upon repentance they'll have their virginity restored, spiritually speaking. For thy Maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. For the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken, and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth. When thou wast refused, saith thy God. In the future is since when the Lamb's wife-to-be will, for the most part, whore after Satan when he appears as the false Christ. In other words, most Christians who will be alive on earth at 666, with those of the Zadok who are the church in Philadelphia being the only ones who will refuse to worship the king of Babylon of the end times when he appears in Jerusalem in the midst of Daniel's 70th week, which was seven years, but is now five months. For a small moment have I forsaken forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord thy Redeemer. But only if they repent, whereby they're grafted back into God's family tree through Christ Jesus, as many will because of what the Holy Spirit will say through those who get delivered up during the latter half of the five month long hour of temptation. They'll then be able to take part in the first resurrection at the seventh trumpet. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me, for as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee nor rebuke thee again, if they repent and are in Christ Jesus. And those who fail to take part 
in the first resurrection will have to absorb the discipline Christ will teach through the millennial priesthood whereby they can stand against Satan after the thousand years are finished and take part in the second resurrection. For the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord that hath mercy on thee. Meaning the new, which means the eternal covenant, whereby through Christ's blood shed on the cross, whosoever will can go into the eternity after the thousand years are finished. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with sapphires, and I will make thy windows of agates, and thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. Those who took part in the second resurrection, having been taught by Christ through those who took part in the first resurrection, the discipline it takes to stand against Satan, whereby they can become citizens of the new, which means the eternal Jerusalem in the third world age. In righteousness shalt thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Ultimately, those who will follow Satan again after the thousand years are finished, having been gathered together to battle by Satan, and after they go up on the breadth of the earth and compass Jerusalem, they'll be blotted out of existence in the lake of fire, and then everyone else will go into the eternity, which is the third world age. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. Even Satan Satan's appearance as the Antichrist, as well as his final attack on Jerusalem after the thousand years are finished, will be allowed by God because the negative part of God's plan, for one thing, will separate those who would rather follow Satan from those who choose to love our Heavenly Father, doing their best to hearken to his voice as best they can, whereby they receive the blessings of Deuteronomy 28 as opposed to the curses. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord.